got a full house of cheering fans, including Earl B., the home team's biggest fan. Earl B., Earl B., he's a man. Earl B., Earl B., the home team's biggest fan. Great day. It's a Monday afternoon, August 26th, and we are at George Daniel Stadium. When I say we, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ron Bacalar, along with my partner, Neil Summers, our cameraman, producer, and director, Joe Bach, and we're going to bring you high school soccer. Our first match tonight will feature the Lorraine Southview Lady Saints as they play host here at George Daniel to the Lady Admirals of Lorraine Admiral King High School. Following that match, we'll have the boys encounter between Lorraine Admiral King and Lorraine Southview. And as always, a pleasure to have Neil with us. Uh, you probably have heard the poem, Footprints. Well, there are going to be moments in both these soccer matches when you will see two sets of footprints, but by and large, you will see just one, and that will be Neil carrying me because <laughs> Neil is the soccer expert. He not only is a soccer official, he's got young fellows that have played soccer for the uh, high schools here in Lorraine. And Neil, again, a pleasure to have you with us. And how do we see this first match sizing up between the gals? Well, it ought to be a pretty interesting game. Southview's got some real numbers out this year with regards to the number of girls they have out on their team. Uh, Admiral King's a little on the short side of things, but uh, King also has a brand new coach in uh, uh, Nick Demacchia. So, or actually, Tony Demacchia is doing the, doing the boys. His brother's doing, or let's back up here a second. Uh, Tony is doing the girls, and his brother Nick took over the boys. So we'll try and keep it straight tonight. But it uh, should be a, a good ball game, uh, even talent. So... Should be a lot of fun. And fortunately, as we found out, uh, the Lady Admirals have a full contingent of uh, players, all from Lorraine Admiral King High School. We thought for a moment there they were going to have to borrow some of the gals from Lorraine Southview in order to get this thing underway. But we've got enough on both sides. We're going to have a good match, and we'll get that one started right after this timeout. Since 1921, your hometown financial professionals at First Federal Savings of Lorraine have dedicated themselves to meeting the financial needs of their customers and surrounding communities. They offer a wide variety of financial investments as well as home mortgages to meet your every need. Loans on boats, cars, mobile homes, and other worthwhile purchases are also available. Whatever your financial need, First Federal Savings of Lorraine is ready to help. Seven convenient locations to serve you in Lorraine, Huron, Sandusky, Port Clinton, and now at 36690 Detroit Road in Avon. First Federal Savings of Lorraine is an equal housing lender and FDIC insured. Your one-stop place for something really special is Impressions, corner of Oberlin Avenue and Tower Boulevard. T-shirts and sweatshirts personally designed to your specific needs. Anything from bears, trains to zebras, and specially designed hats as well. And don't forget Impressions, your one-stop spot for school jackets. See Dave, the designer expert at Impressions, Oberlin Avenue at Tower Boulevard, right here in Lorraine. Action ready to get underway. In fact, it is underway. And uh, we're going to depend on Neil, as we indicated in our open, to just kind of explain and get us through this. Because when it comes to soccer, believe you me, I am, without a doubt, as green as green can be. Greener than that grass. There you go. There you go. Well, fortunately, it's a game where you get an opportunity to uh, get a little commentary because it's a spread out game. You, you're trying to keep the ball moving and get it spread away from the attackers. There's a little trip from behind there. 
And in the event that uh, someone is watching that is totally unfamiliar with the game of soccer, what they do is they play 40-minute halves in high school, and the clock continues to run until they get down to, what, the last two minutes? No, it's uh, all the way. All, all the way, way. so yeah, there yeah, is right. no stopping the clock. That's right. Only on uh, penalties or injuries, that type of thing. Okay. Or after, or after a score. Southview's moving the ball very nice. Touches, uh, soft touches, moving the ball back and forth to their, uh, from the midfield to the, trying to get it forward. And each team uh, does have 11 players on the field. Let's look at the uh, players for Southview currently out there. Number 24 is Sarah Wozniak. Uh, she has already lettered twice in soccer at Lorraine Southview. She is a senior and plays midfield and forward. Number 27 is Jackie Wilson, a senior. She is a defender and a forward. And we'll be talking to Neil about what these positions really boil down to. Jackie Vizalden is a junior. She's number 17, a defender. Uh, Jessica Todd is a senior. She's number 22, and she plays forward and sometimes even acts as the goalie. Number 30 is Jessica Zook, a senior. She plays forward or a defender. Sasha Simmons, this is her third uh, year that she will letter for the Lady Saints. She wears number 32, a senior. Midfield forward uh, are her positions. Sunshine Shuck is a senior. She wears number 34. She's already lettered twice. This will be her third year. And uh, Sunshine is a midfield defender. Also in the starting 11, number 38 is Sandra Santos, a senior. She is a defender. Number 25 is Carly Nieto, a senior. She's a midfield defender. Number 31 is Jordan Gonzalez, a sophomore. She is a defender. Where's number 31? And the 11th player for the Lady Saints is number 40, Brittany Gonzalez. She, too, has lettered two years in a row. And uh, she is a senior, a forward midfield person. For the Lady Admirals, uh, and uh, we'll try to pick out the numbers as we go along because we did not get the starters per se. Number 21 we see is Jasmine Phillips. She is a mid-defense person. Uh, here, Neil, if you'll use the red pen, then I'll be able to pick that up. Number 18 does not have a name, so uh, <laughs> we, will call, <laughs> we will call her uh, Miss Mystery. How's that? Uh, Number 21, we identified as Jasmine Phillips, a mid-defense person. Number two is a forward, and her name is Joanna Lopez. Uh, number four is Sarah, uh, I do believe, since the name is Pendin, uh, Grondin, Grondin. Yeah, so it looks like. She plays uh, midfield, and... Uh, who else do we have out there? Number 17, Alyssa Feldkamp is a midfield person. Number eight, Amanda Ross is a forward. These are the Lady Admirals currently out on the field. Number three is Lauren Kishman, a captain and a sweeper. But she has no broom. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my. Too I... much football, Ron. Too much football. <laughs> Yeah, who else do we have out there? You know, the amazing thing is we, we kind of hoped uh, TV20 uh, notifying uh, all the proper individuals that we were going to be doing these telecasts and hopefully that the coaches would come prepared with the proper information and, uh, oh, well, we're going to suffer through it. Number nine is uh, Jackie Gaynor, a captain. She is a forward defense person. We get number goalkeeper is uh, number Monica. 12 is out there, and uh, that's yeah. Miss Mystery number two. We don't have a name for number 12, mid defense. And that's kind of sad in itself because what we are attempting to do is give these young ladies the credit that they deserve for giving of their time and their talent in this particular game. And to get a roster from the coach with a number and no name is a disservice to these young ladies. Okay, looks like King's going to have a little. We got a little action here down toward the goal. Nice cross. That's uh, 
Zenaida Nieves, number seven, a midfield person that was uh, kicking the ball there on the far side. Lady Saints were on the move there with Sandra Santos kicking, and she's got possession of the ball now. There's an offside situation. Sunshine so. Shuck. Anytime you get an attacker that has less than two defenders in front of him and the ball's passed to him, you're usually in an offside situation. The ball gets a free kick going back the other way, so King will take over. Monica's going to let sail here. Now, when we talk about these different positions, for example, defender slash forward, are those two different positions, Neil? Yeah, pri you listed the defender first, so she's primarily a defender, and then at some point uh, she may go in and play midfield. Uh, the defenders, obviously, are you got your goalkeeper and your midfielders, and then you've got or your, your defenders, and then your midfielders are the people that do a lot of switching either up to the front or to the back on the defense. So there's several players there that'll end up playing more than one position. And the forwards are kind of like the uh, backs in a football game. They're the ones that attack the uh, opposing. Yes, uh, exactly right. They're the ones that you're relying on to get the score. They get the ball from the midfielders or from the defenders in the back. And, and uh, just like you see there, she's going to the outside. Yeah, that's Jasmine Phillips going for the ball now. And we have another offside. And uh, defending on that uh, play. Number 17, I believe it is. Number 17, for that's Jackie yeah. Vizalden. Or maybe I'm wrong. It looks like maybe it's a 12. But they did a good job. Okay. Well, King's got a full attack now. They received the ball and uh, before they were all across the midfield, so they weren't offside. Brittany but, uh, Gonzalez taking the ball towards the Admiral King goal. And, and Lauren kicked Kishman. away. Lauren Kishman took it away from her. Lauren's been a starter back there. I believe uh, she's a senior now. I think she's been the starter for about four years now. So. Now there's a term when we were talking about Laura earlier, sweeper. And uh, I see nowhere on the Southview roster the term sweeper. Yeah, they've, they've, Admiral King designates a sweeper being, being uh, Lauren Kishman. Uh, her primary responsibility is to go, she can go just about anywhere in that area. She's got a lot of speed, a uh, good skilled player, and uh, they count on her to, to stop the, uh, the charge just like you had going here a few minutes ago. Uh, to where at Southview may be playing pretty much a set without having one individual as a, you know, they'll actually be a sweeper, but they'll just call him a defender. So a sweeper would be synonymous then with defender? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very nice ball movement by Safio. Good, good play there. Nice attack. Nice save by Monica. And that'll be a, that'll be a, a throw in for Safio. Number 14, Monica Gerace, also a captain, is the goalie. She's another four-year player. And quite the softball player, too. Yes, yes. He's a good athlete. Very good athlete. Well, here comes that new principal, Mr. <laughs> Ferguson. You'll see Jay at every sport there is. He's a real, real good addition to Southview. Yeah, they got a prize in him, that's they for sure. Sure do. Okay, now we'll have a... a Goal kick. Not to mention the fact he was an asset to TV 20 during the basketball season. Oh, yeah. He knows his basketball. Able to fill in for Bob Braskich when Bob couldn't make the game and filled in for me a few times when I was unavailable to do the play-by-play. -play. Certainly hope that that will not change now that he is a building principal. <laughs>
Sunshine Shuck with the ball for the Lady Saints. Another nice outlet pass to the outside, spreading the game. They're going to cross it back. Good Sasha defense. Simmons. That was uh, kicked out of bounds by, by no Miss, name. Miss Mystery <laughs> Number One. <laughs> uh, we'll have to. I'll have to go down and get those at the half. <laughs> throw in for Southview. And again, for someone watching soccer for the first time, uh, I trust since you're watching this on your color monitor at home that you can see the yellow lines. Those are the out of bounds lines for the soccer match. The white lines, of course, are there for purposes of high school football. Right. which obviously uh, one can see that the soccer playing field is a lot larger than that of the uh, football. It's gotta be a little tough for King, I think they, uh, just before school started, they only had about nine players, so he's mm. picked up uh, several players, but uh, getting them into game shape and uh, positions has to be a little tough for And it for is Tony. kind of early in the season. Oh, yeah. This, I, think, I think this is the first game for both schools. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, Saturday was the opening. I don't know if they played or not. I know the boys did, but uh, I'm not sure about the girls. Jackie Wilson now, a senior for Southview, uh, had the ball kicked away. Nice pass. Now battling for the possession is Southview's Heather Schlosser, number 37, a defender and a sophomore. Jackie Gaynor working with the ball. Looks like we're gonna, there was a shot on goal. That was by number 10, I believe it was. We got number 10 there for King, yeah. Alina Regal. You know, I tell you, Ron, I'm looking forward to when we get our, our junior high schools back into existence, because I think the junior high programs that we had uh, before with the four schools playing spring ball really helped our soccer programs, girls and boys. So a few years down the road, when we get those back in place, I think we'll see a, the, the numbers out and the skill a lot, you know, improving. There's a nice pass there. Lord real, Kishman. Real nice job. Bringing the ball up for the Lady Saints is Brittany Gonzalez and Laura Kishman to defend. The officials uh, for this soccer match, Al Asar and Liam Carroll. was one of the things too that I wanted to uh, bring up and get your point of view on it Neil uh, the fact that you see so many youngsters playing soccer in the area a uh, lot of soccer fields and you see sometimes uh, in some communities they've got several soccer matches going on at the same time both boys and girls what is the status in Lorraine aside from the Lorraine public schools Okay, well, they, Lorraine City Soccer has a program that plays in the county league, and uh, over at Longfellow has been primarily designated as their fields. Uh, there's a lot of, of uh, small fields over there where they're playing 7v7, uh, more touches to the ball, uh, more opportunity for more kids to play, and we see a lot of that. Uh, they play in the spring and the fall, 
Uh, and then as the kids get older, they move into the older age groups um, up in the 10, 11, 12 year olds. Uh, when we get seem to like when we get up to that junior high age is where we're losing them because we don't we don't have a program for them in school and uh, we you know just trying to keep them interested in playing uh, go to play club ball it gets expensive and not everybody can afford to do that but uh, I, I, I think they'll I think it'll improve of course I'm an optimist anyhow <laughs> <laughs> now if, if I understood you correctly you're saying at the present time there is no soccer program on the uh, middle school level that's correct right uh, so if these youngsters uh, well teenagers do not come from some form of a city league into the high school then chances are they've had no soccer experience whatsoever that's, that's absolutely correct uh, basically what we were getting is a lot of uh, people at the seventh and eighth grade level were learning the game at the junior high level and then moving up and playing and continuing the freshman sophomore year before they get into the varsity level and, uh, and and we had a, you had a lot of players out, and uh, and those those numbers are down now because we don't have that program. Now King is as long as she carries the ball, she's fine. She took a shot, uh, shot is missed. It was wide of the goal. Uh, there was a player in an offside position, but she was not past the ball. Therefore, it's uh, yeah, she's not in the play, and they don't call it. The area that she's in now is considered the goal box. You see the markings around the goal. That's considered the goal box. Then the outer line that comes on is a penalty area or a penalty box. If there's a fall in there, that could be could lead to a penalty shot or different markings mean different things when mm -hmm. it happens. Now. Keeper went outside the box. She picked that ball up inside the box and she went outside. So it's considered a handball and it's a king shot. They had a shot on goal and, and, and missed and it. Missed there. And missed and oh yeah. wow, that one was just a bit wide to the left. Yeah, big advantage there and they didn't, weren't able to take advantage of it. And when I say wide to the left, I'm talking from the goalie's point of view, <laughs> from the viewer's <laughs> point of view, a little wide to the right. Yeah. But that was an opportunity. Sure was. Sure was. And I would suspect for some of these uh, soccer players, be they young ladies, young men, uh, when when that situation arises, there's there's got to be that maybe that little extra rush of adrenaline, oh. like wow, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I've watched them run be two feet in front of the goal and have it go right over the top because they just try to kill it. But uh, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. It is to us, not to them. Yeah. <laughs> And if you're coaching, it's even worse. Yeah. Uh. Now, here comes Sasha Simmons, and she had the ball kicked away. Miss mystery number two now with it for the Lady Admirals. You gotta, you gotta back up there on that offside position. He's gotta be aware, you gotta look around and see what's going on. So the fact that uh, Jasmine Phillips, number 21, kicked the ball or had possession of the ball before kicking it and one of the Lady Admirals was up. Cl closer to the goal than, uh, than two defenders, and that counts the goal. Like right now you have your goalie and, and uh, young lady getting ready to kick the ball, that's your two, so you're not you wouldn't be offside if you were close, but if you had a player between her and a goalkeeper and you pass the ball to her, she's in an offside position. Mm -hmm. And if you think it's tough explaining it to you, you ought to try to explain it to, to parents <laughs> 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 on Sunday afternoons. <laughs> Especially the ones that think they know That's, all the rules yeah, and the regulations right. and are far from it. Well, we have reached the halfway point of the first half with 20 minutes remaining. Clock continues to run. And we have no score. But, if you're but we are, you know what I'm really seeing that I like is I like the way both teams are moving the ball. Short passes, uh, inside, outside to their players, and uh, a lot of people touching the ball. That's, that's, you know, that's a credit to the coaches. They're doing a good job. Uh, a lot of times uh, you get a decent athlete and all they want to do is dribble the ball down like they're the only player, you know, and they, they get taught that in the youth leagues at sometimes, but uh, 
when you move it around, that's where you get the element of surprise. There's a nice play by Lauren Kishman. Now, it's obvious the fact that the ball is, let's say, um, from a defensive point of view, south views half of the uh, field. Mm -hmm. The King defenders can move down into that area. Yeah, they can go anywhere they want. But if that ball starts coming north towards the Admiral King goal, then those defenders got to scoot back That's immediately, right. if not mm -hmm. sooner. Okay. That's correct. Now, this young lady standing there at number 25 near the 50, as long as she stays on her half of the field, she's not offside. But you can see that there's only one player between her and the goal. Mm. But that's not an offside position. If she moves to, to the north end of that 50, then you, then you have that situation. But here we have a king on the attack here. Good defensive play. Short pass back. And waiting to oh. that well, That was nice. She uncorked that one, but uh, it was a... Shin garden away. Good defense. Now well, the Lady Saints got the ball away from their goal. Now they're into Admiral King territory. There's a good play. Carly Nieto kicking the ball across field for the Lady uh, Saints. Offside, Southview. And Kishman's uh, kick taken there by Sasha Simmons. Malit, Joanna Malit, a junior kicking towards the goal. Monica Gerace will kick it out. Very nice. Uh, Miss Mystery number two with the ball for the Lady Admirals. Gets it away from one defender and then she is down to the ground and uh, seems to. Got an ankle injury, it looks like. Be holding her right uh, leg. Missing a shoe, too, there. So we'll have a uh, stoppage in play. So in a situation like that, the clock does stop, and we yes. do have 16 minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the first half. There is no score. So we'll have Mr. Dury come over and check it out. I think it's one of the great uh, advantages now for the Lorraine City Schools, and especially the athletic program for both schools, to have someone like David Dury, uh, a certified trainer, having gone through college, having worked with professional sports teams to be here for these uh, young ladies and young men when something like that happens. At least it's got to make the parents in the stands feel a lot better that someone qualified, somebody competent is uh, looking sure. after and, their... And, and David isn't going to let them go back into the ball game and get an injury. He's going to make sure they're okay before he gives that coach the all right to go back into the ball game. So... Uh, Mr. DeMacchi is doing a little politicking over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a slight limp as uh, Miss Mystery number two gets up. And she'll probably have to come out of the uh, game for yeah, a she, bit. She does have to lead the field when they stop. Uh, anytime when there's a stoppage for an injury, they have to lead it. Then they come in at the next uh, opportunity to sub, which would be a throw in or a goal. Tony's got uh, Ed Gaynor over there uh, assisting him this year. His daughters have played in the last over the last couple of years here. And, uh, 
been active in the city program as well. It's not unusual to watch the coach, coach grow up with the kids. Mm. Start at the four and five year old range and go through until they graduate. I do believe number eight, Amanda Ross, has come into the uh, lineup for the Lady Admirals, uh, replacing the young lady who was injured. And again, we do not have a name there's for her. A, another shot on, trying to get, there's a shot right there. Oh, All right. And right into right the hands the of the goalkeeper. Now, there's a break for the goalie. Yep. Left or right, and you got a score. Easier said than done. Yeah, I'm sure. It looks like such a wide open area to get that ball in there. Yes, it does. Here we have a substitution now for King. Coming in, I can't uh, get her number yet coming in. Number 12 is coming in. That the is game. Miss Mystery number two, the <laughs> one uh, who le left the match because of uh, the slight injury to the leg. Okay. And good to see her back in action. Again, we only wish that we would have a name to give to her. Hopefully, uh, we'll pick that up during the halftime but we can only work with what the coaches provide us. And we were under the impression the coaches were informed that we were going to be doing the telecast of both the girls and the boys soccer match between Lorraine Southview and Lorraine Admiral King. Be a throw in for Southview off the King defender's foot. Tosses to Sasha Simmons, kicked away by Laura Kishman. It's a good play there. She stayed on side. Now we got a. She got a push, so King will get a free kick at about uh, looks like about the 30-yard line. So those those numbers do come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, she kicked that one from the 26. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she moved it up. There's a nice You're, shot right oh, there. Oh, and it go. goes into Number the nine. back of the net. Number nine is Jackie Gaynor, one of the tri-captains for the Lady Admirals. So, Lorraine Admiral King getting on the scoreboard first with 13 minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Jackie must have set her up. She kicked that last one right to the goalie, so she uh, this time she decided to go left for him. <laughs> Nice, nice shot. Well, good, good play all the way from the uh, 26th to passing and everything was very good. Now it's time for Southview to get something moving here. And 13 minutes and 51 seconds left as we start. With your... Uh long career and involvement in soccer when a team scores like that does that give the uh, in this case the lady admirals having put the first point on the scoreboard just a little more incentive to try that much harder and does it work the other way as well for the lady saints since now they're down yeah well normally for, for admiral king obviously they've been threatening a couple times had some shots they finally got one in southview on the other hand has, has had some good movement down the field toward the toward the goal and uh you know, I think that's going to push their play up a little bit because they want to get back into this. This is a big rivalry between the two schools, and and uh, I look for some more scoring, but a lot of times in a good defensive game, one goal could stand up. Apparently there was a penalty here with the free kick. Yeah, his arm up in the air, so it's an indirect, what they call it, indirect kick, so it wasn't anything major. Okay. Either that or he's airing out his shirt. Uh, so <laughs> I, 
Yeah, once there's once they put that up, they'll keep it down until the ball touches another player after it's kicked, and then they, then they put the arm down. And again, for those who are not familiar with the game of soccer, no doubt by now you have discovered that the only one permitted to touch the ball is the goalie in the field of action. Now, when the ball goes out of bounds, they can toss oh, it yeah, in by they hand. Do the t they do a throw in if it goes over the touch lines on the side. <clears throat> if it goes over the goal line, then they do a goal kick. But once the ball is in the field of play, uh, there's no touching it with the arms or the hands. That's correct. You can uh, you can do headers, you can use your thighs, your foot, but you can't use your hand. Upper body is yes. fine. Mm -hmm. Jackie Wilson for the Lady Saints. Go. 32 for King. Uh, we got that. Uh, well, we'll Sasha Simmons, Simmons for uh, okay. the Lady Not, Saints. Yeah, that's how I meant. I'm sorry. Right. She's got a shot. One wide. Ooh. And it went wide indeed. Placed that it right. again Just was uh, uh, number 32, Sasha Simmons for the Lady Saints. A substitution for Southview, number 24, coming into the ball game. That is Sarah Wozniak, a and senior. Number 17 coming in. And that's Jackie Vizalden. And six is coming out, and 30, 35 is coming out for Sarah. Joanna Millett. And number 35 is Julie Scott. Well, now they fooled us. They took out 32 instead. She just came over to get uh, something from the coach. <laughs> You throw in for Southview, just about midfield. Yeah, it looks, there's the ball boys. The king possession, the ball is thrown in, kicked back out of bounds, so we'll have another throw in at about midfield. Well, we're under 10 minutes now remaining in the uh, first half, nine minutes and 45 seconds to be exact as the clock continues to run. Off of Southview, now he's, now he's. Difference of opinion here. There's a ricochet off of the Southview player and the one official saw it and the other one was in a position where he didn't. So uh, they're helping each other out, which is good communication. Give those men in black a hand. <laughs> All right, we can do that. Anyone who can be out there and really understand what he's doing in this game of soccer. Now, I didn't say that. I just said that. <laughs> it's all my credit, believe me. I'm kidding. And who knows, maybe, uh, Lord willing, down the road we do enough of these soccer matches, I really may get the hang of it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It I really know last is. year when we did the first one, uh, Neil, that was uh, the boys' match, mm -hmm. King and Southview here yes. at the stadium. That you was gave a me match. a rules book to look at That's uh, right. prior to uh, the match. And as far as I was concerned, I think I might have mentioned to you. Came you back have, same way I gave you, it to you. You could have <laughs> given me that book written in Greek or Latin, and it would have made as much sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Needless to say, uh, when I was a youngster growing up, soccer was not a sport in our area. Yeah, yeah I think uh, soccer got the move uh, in here. I know in, in the city of Lorraine, uh, the late uh, uh, John Zebach and uh, Ned Skimmon were two real instigators of the, of the program in the city of Lorraine. Both are, are now passed on. Uh, both helped with the Lorraine High program. Uh, Ken Kramer was a big pusher for the... Um, girls programs and got it in and then you have Dave Thomas and a lot of a lot of people involved that started things up and and got on the bandwagon Gino Taliano and some of the other ones but uh, um, 
I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some, but uh, those are those are the big ones, and uh, it's it's caught on. We've uh, I think it was, in fact, my daughter was one that was on the first Lorraine High team as a junior, so it was it was been back in uh, around 19 uh, had to be 1988 89. Mm. It was a nice step over and a good pass. Well, I'd like to have a team of mystery players, uh, number 12 for Edward <laughs> King. She does, uh, she does a great job there. I mean, that's a really, really nice. It's amazing that uh, the kind of job she's doing out there, she apparently has got to be uh, uh, one of the more outstanding young ladies in the field of soccer for the Lady Admirals that uh, the coach would have saw fit to put her well, name that's, down. That's it, yeah. It's, uh, she's a good, a good little athlete. Lauren taking the ball to the outside after she went down after the long pass. Did a nice job there. There's a shot. Goes to Monica. Oh, thank you. Now, the fact that Monica came way out beyond the 10-yard uh, where the uh, yellow line is or just right. prior to the 10, that, that's okay. The goalie can come out as far as she right. wants. She just cannot touch it with her hands after she comes okay. out of that area. Okay, once she exactly. gets beyond the yellow box. Yeah, that's correct. Then hands off. That's correct. All right. Learn something new all she the can, time. She can push up and go anywhere in there. That's Remember when the uh, Southview keeper caught the ball in the box and then walked out of the box, that became a hand a handling of the ball, handball we Everybody refers to it as. Jackie Gaynor almost had the ball taken away. There goes Mystery. Mystery oh, well, two. She moves the ball. And has so. it kicked out of bounds, so the Lady Admirals will get it back. We we'll throw in here, number, number, is that 17? 12? That 12, is. 12, oh. number 12. She will have a name in the second half. We, prom <laughs> we promise you. <laughs> Along with number 18, we need a name for number 18. That's right. What's that old saying? Don't shoot the messengers. <laughs> and number five, we need a name for number five for the Lady Admirals. It's, uh, number eight for King Amanda. Amanda Ross. Amanda Ross. Nice pass. Gainer in the open. And that pass was by Miss Mystery number one. She went wide, but. Not quite enough on it. We're down to four minutes and 20 seconds here in the first half. The Lady Admirals leading one to nothing on a goal by Jackie Gaynor with 1351 remaining in the first half. Free kick for Southview. There's Knight. Oh, oh, stepped over the ball. Is that a result of eager anticipation? Yep. <laughs> Lauren Kishman gets it away for the Lady Admirals. Number 19 for King. It's a pass that through, is uh, Natalie, Natalie Smith. Smith. Julie Scott kicking for the Lady Southview Saints. Gets it to Sarah Wozniak. Another nice play. See, now you have Gainer back playing back in the defensive position, Ron. You were asking a little while ago before she was a forward, and now she's back playing uh, midfield. Probably probably midfield to is probably where she's playing the most. That way she can get up front and 
be part of the attack as well as the defender. Now when Monica was back there uh, kicking the ball around, one of the Southview boys soccer players was yelling out, she can't pick it up, she can't pick it up. If there is not a shot on goal, the goalie is not permitted to pick it up. That's right, she was outside the box. She couldn't, once she comes outside the box and she becomes a normal player and she can't uh, touch it with her hands. So they were trying to tell their player, you know, don't, don't worry about them picking it up. Just play, you know, play defense on her. And we're talking about that box that she's in right now. The that's, first, that's the goal the box. First, okay. She can come outside where right behind uh, Kishman is the penalty area, the large area. Any one of those boxes, she can touch the ball. Okay, any one. Uh, yes, when she steps over, she can't touch it in the arc or outside of those lines. I think what'll be interesting, uh, Ron, is when we get into the second half is to see what kind of shape uh, the, the Admirals are in with all this running and very few substitutes. Uh, Southview's been subbing fairly frequently and uh, King hasn't had that luxury, so. Yeah, Lady Admirals only have two uh, players on the bench at the moment. All the other players are out on the field where the Lady Saints have one, two, three, four, five, six on the bench. Well, actually five or four that appear to be players. There's five. Well, I was right. There's five. five, in uniform. five. You, yeah, yeah, five in you, uniform. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we got a goal kick here. Monica Gerace's kick off the legs of uh, Carly Nieto. Can have a throw in. Joanna Millett kicking it out of bounds for Southview. Sandra Santos. Sandra's going to do a throw in. Three, two, one, and that's the end of the first half. And the Lady Admirals will go into the locker room with a one-point advantage. They lead one to nothing. We'll be back with the second half right after this timeout. Just a reminder that uh, this soccer match is being brought to you by um, Delphia. When it comes to communication, Adelphia has it all. Believe you me. Cable television, digital cable, like we've got at home, and it's outstanding. They've got the power link for the fastest internet service available, and they've got long distance telephone. So if your needs are in any and all of those areas, you want to give Adelphia a call. Okay, here we go with the second half. Lady Saints in possession with Carly Nieto doing a little bit of a <laughs> midfield dance. So it's obvious that the Lady Saints are not all that down and out since they're trailing by a point. Our score is one to nothing in favor of the Lady Admirals. And the teams have uh, exchanged goals. The Lady Admirals now defending the goal at the there's south end. And there's a oh. kick and saved by Monica Gerace. Kick made by Sarah Wozniak for the Lady Saints. Monica was in the right place at the right time, got the ball, and now has kicked it out. And by the way, we have discovered who our mystery ladies are. Number 12 is Danielle Zatala for the Lady Admirals, and number 18 is Rochelle Rock. And we give our thanks to our partner here, Neil Summers, for going down on the field and getting the information right from the coach himself, who, by the way, apologized for not having the proper names with the proper numbers, and we accept the apology. 
not on our behalf, but for these fine young ladies. And that's Danielle Zatala. There's a, okay, trying to get a lead pass out there. Nice play. Picked up by Sunshine Shuck. That's a great name. That is a great name. We could have used her Friday night to football <laughs> games. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You know, it was amazing, too. Uh, on Saturday, Neil, we started the game where we left off with the sun shining brightly. By That's the time right. we got to the end of the game, it was already it was dark, and again. it started raining That's again. Right. Yeah. But fortunately, no lightning. That's good. I know the combination of lightning, which produces a lot of nitrogen in the air, and the rain, my grass is green there you go. and growing. <laughs> That's a good, good challenge by... Here come the, the Lady Admirals, Admirals, Jasmine Phillips. Good defense there by Gets Admiral it over to Southfield. Jackie Gaynor. Jackie Wilson did a nice job down here, staying with her with the attacker. So we got a free kick for the Saints. Heather Schlosser, a sophomore, will do the honors on the free kick. Picked up by Zanita Nievis for the Lady Admirals. Kick there by Jessica Zook. Danielle Zatala in possession of the ball for King. Now being kicked about oh, by Sandra Santos, by, uh, and yes, Gaynor a steal by Gaynor, Jackie Gaynor, one of the tri-captains. He's going to pass it over. Okay. Good defense by Safiu. Here, Here comes back. Anita Nievis. And Wilson clears it. Good job. Well done. Jessica Zook. Sasha Simmons on the far side for the Lady Saints. Gets it to the uh, middle of the field to Sarah Wozniak. And here comes Monica Gerace, picks it up for the Lady Admirals, and she will kick it out. Jackie Wilson, and the ball goes out of bounds. Jackie does a nice job. She's a hustler. And while we've got the ball being kicked about, let me remind you about the Palace Civic Center, one of our fine sponsors, bringing you this uh, soccer match between the Lady Admirals and the uh, Lady Saints. You want to see some good movies? We've got some coming up this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, August 30th and the 31st, and the first day of September, Sunday. The movie is Joanna Man. It's rated PG, showtime all three nights, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7 p.m., and the admission is just $2 for children under 12, adults $3. And you will see the movie on the largest screen in Lorain County with the absolute positive best sound system. If you've never seen a movie at the Palace, you owe it to yourself and the family to get there and uh, really take advantage of this opportunity. Then the first full weekend in September, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, September 6th, 7th, and 8th, the movie is Insomnia. For moms and dads only, rated R. Showtime all three nights, 7 p.m. Palace Civic Center, 6th and Broadway. We got a breakaway here. And Gainer. coming down the field for the Lady Admirals, Jackie Gaynor. Being defended by number 34 for Southview, which is uh, Sunshine Chuck. Sunshine. And there's a kick there's on a goal, and, and in goal. the goal by number, number 12, 12, Danielle Zatala. And she crossed it across the face of the goal and let it rip. Very nice play. So the Lady Admirals, uh, Go on top, 
two to nothing. That uh, shot on goal successful with 33 minutes and 44 seconds remaining in this soccer match. Coach is taking advantage of that score and giving Gainer a rest. Let's see who he put in there in number four, I believe. And that is the, Sarah uh, Grondend. Ooh, right off the head of Carly Nieto, and that had to smart. There we go. We got Here we come away. again. Danielle Zatala and kicks, nice and it save. is saved. Good save. Well done. The keeper didn't come out too far. She let the let the attacker play it and uh, worked out to her advantage. Now the goalkeeper doesn't wear the traditional uniform that the uh, teammates wear. We don't have a number for the Southview goalkeeper. Do you happen to know who that might yeah, be? Yeah, he's got it. Uh, let's see here. Goalie forward is uh, okay. Jessica, Jessica Todd. Todd. Jessica Todd. Nice save by Jessica Todd. Yeah, they normally wear something different so they won't get mixed up with the other players, different color. We have a throw in for Southview. Well, at first they thought it was off of Jackie Vizalden, but in fact it was off of Lauren Kishman. Well, you may be right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a dangerous play. Jackie Vizalden got down uh, on all four and the ball came off of her arm. So they gave the free kick to Lauren Kishman. Am I picking up on this game? You are, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting right there. That was one of those calls could go either way. They, it hit her arm, so he called the handling of the ball versus being a dangerous play since her face was down by the ball. You don't want anybody to kick. So it could, can go either way. Good call. Okay, we got to push off the ball here. So now we have a king ball. And Lauren Kishman will have the honors on the free kick. Anybody's possession at this point in time as they bandy about around the 45 yard line. Now it's picked up by Sandra Santos. Here come the Lady Admirals. 21. Jasmine Phillips. Jasmine takes a shot. And Jessica, Jessica Todd. Todd. Saves it. Handling of the ball, stuck her elbow out and hit it, so now it'll be a south few ball about the midfield. And it looks like 45, somewhere in there. I think he's gonna move it up. There we go. And, and it went out of bounds. All right. So the Lady Admirals will get to put it into play. They'll have a throw in. We are about one fourth the way through the second half. 30 minutes and 10 seconds remaining as the clock continues to run. The Lady Admirals lead two to nothing. And here we thought before the start of this match uh, this afternoon, Neil, that uh, we wondered if the Lady Admirals would even have enough players to put on the field. But as you had indicated, 11 players, that is the maximum, but you can play with as little as seven. That's correct. So if they came here with just seven players, they'd be able to take the field, but anything less than seven, then it would become a forfeit. That's correct. It wouldn't be planned. Here we go. Southview's got the, that's a Wilson, I believe. Nice, nice outlet pass. Unfortunately, the wing was standing next to her. <laughs> 
Lauren Kishman is saying, like, yeah, you're not going to get the ball away from me. See how she guarded that ball with her yeah, body? Yeah. Oh, oh, and a kick by Wilson went right off the upper chest and face of Joanna Lopez. Uh, Wilson says, I'm here to play. If you're in the way, you're going you're gonna to either go with the ball or stop the ball, one of the two. That's an oucher, that's for sure. Nice job. Southview's got an opportunity here along the line to get a shot off. And Sarah Wozniak, and it's picked up by Monica Gerace. She'll bring it out. And we go out of bounds. So we're 35 and 27 going into the ball, or 20, 35 and 31 are going in 34. So 35, 31, and 34, Ron. 35 coming into the ball game is sophomore Julie Scott. 31, did you say? Yes, 31. 31 is sophomore Jordan Gonzalez. And 34, Sunshine Chuck is back in the ball game. There's some good play going down there between those two. <laughs> And they're going to let Lauren Kishman kick it downfield. Look out. Huh? And it's kicked out of bounds. <laughs> Jackie Wilson was coming. She was going to let him have it. Uh, nice throw in. Step that one. There you go. Well done. That was a nice play, even though it was a little short. Kick on she goal did by uh, Jessica Zook. Right. Grabbed by Monica Gerace. Monica, by the way, was a Lorraine City Schools Television Sports Player of the Week last spring for her prowess in softball. Jackie Wilson kicks it away. Here comes Danielle Zatala. Jackie Wilson intercepts. Picked up by Zanita Nievis. Jackie Gaynor kicks on nice goal and ball. in. That was nice. Jackie Gaynor with 25 minutes and 59 seconds remaining in this contest. Uh, see number nine, number nine. She took that ball across the, started across the mouth of the goal and laid it up in the upper 90. And that puts the Lady Admirals in a very enviable position as yeah. they lead this contest three to nothing. Kind of difficult to come back from a three to nothing deficit. It's not impossible, Neil, but it is difficult. It's, it's not easy, that's for sure. Well, they haven't been getting too many shots on goal either. They've been getting the ball down, but they can't seem to uh, uh, get it that extra few yards that they need to get it into the mouth of the goal. They do have a wind at their back. They may. Uh, Start shooting a little further out and get it up in the air. Maybe that's about the only thing they're going to be able to do, get over Monica's head. She really, she's on the ground. She's there for it. She's real quick. They're not going to give up. They're going to keep playing their game. There you go. Wind has kicked up just a yeah, bit here at it. George Daniel Stadium. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Here come the Lady Saints, a kick on goal and uh, Gonna have a off. corner kick, yeah. Went off of the Admirals. So he's pointing to a corner kick, so. 
Southview will get to start over by the locker room and lay it across the mouth of the goal if they can get it there. Now Sasha Simmons with the kick. Now in a situation like this with Sasha Simmons out there in the far corner going to kick it in, do her teammates have a set place where they go? Is this something you practice or? Oh yeah, yeah, they've got uh, three people across the mouth of the goal and, and hoping to lay it right in. If she can't get in, they ended up going behind so they're gonna have a goal kick now. But yeah, a lot of individuals do try to lay it to the long side and have somebody do a header in. Big, the biggest thing you want to do is get it up into the mouth of the goal where you can get somebody to jump up into the air and try and do a header. Uh, Monica Gerace kicking the ball out and it's off the legs of uh, Sarah Wozniak. Sarah's playing a good game. She's keeping right in there. Picked up by Amanda Ross. Okay, goal kick. Jerace's uh, kick from goal picked up by Jessica Zook, and now it's Lauren Kishman for the Lady Admirals, being guarded by Zook. Out to Sandra Santos. Jackie Wilson. Wilson and Gainer got tangled up there. Admiral's going to have a direct kick. Danielle Zatala with the kick. Picked up by Jackie Gaynor. Putting the stop on uh, Gaynor's move, one of the Lady Saints. Do believe that was sun, Sunshine Shook. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how these young ladies can thread the needle with that ball so close to the out of bounds uh, yeah. line. They shield the ball very well. Danielle Zatala brings the ball down. Looking for a cross, Get a little long. Picked up by Jessica Todd. Lauren Kishman kicking up field. Sunshine, I do believe, 34. Mm -hmm. sure. Jackie Wilson. Picked up by Joanna Lopez. Wilson. Natalie Smith now in the ball game for the Lady Admirals, number 19. And it goes out of bounds. You know, trying to keep these numbers straight as you're watching here. I get a better feel for Tim Alcorn now when he's doing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new goalie coming into the ball game for the Lady Saints. Rochelle Rock and Sasha Simmons battling with the ball and it's coming down towards the Admiral King goal and finally the King defenders get it out of there. Lauren Kishman. Heather is going into goal, I believe. Number 37, 37 Heather Schlosser, a sophomore.
Danielle Zatala now in possession of the ball for the Lady Admirals. Nice, nice ball. Jackie Gaynor picks it up. Jackie Gaynor going towards the goal. Intercepted by Jordan Gonzalez. A free kick for Southview. Sunshine Shook taking the turf. We're under 20 minutes now remaining in this contest between the Lady Admirals and the Lady Saints here at George Daniel Stadium with the Lady Admirals leading three to nothing. Picking up a goal in the first half by Jackie Gaynor with 1351 remaining in the first half of play and two more points here in the second half with 3344 remaining in the second half, Danielle Zatala and uh, with 2559 remaining in the contest, Jackie Gaynor. So Gaynor with two shots on goal that were good, and Danielle Zatala accounting for the three Lady Admiral points. Julie Scott comes to the outside. Lauren Kishman kicking, and it went off the legs of one of the Lady Saints. Oh, I think they. I uh, do yeah. believe that was Jackie Vizalden. Monica Gerais comes out, gets the ball. She'll kick it free. Lauren Kishman. Now here with the Lady Admirals having the upper hand with a three point uh, to nothing advantage. Mm -hmm. Is there such a thing as kind of like a stalling tactic in soccer where you just want to let the clock run out without giving the opposition? Are yeah. there such tactics in soccer? You, yeah, you just move the ball around. It depends. If you're if you're if you're not looking to, to score more goals, yes, you just move the ball around, pass it, and, and move it back out and reset constantly. But uh, at this level, they're going to try and score as many goals as they can get. <laughs> but it uh, it does happen more in your professional areas and in, in, in upper division play. I notice on some of those kicks by Monica, after the ball leaves her foot, she has a tendency to go over the yellow line. That is fine as long yeah. as the ball is actually kicked she inside. Released, she released the ball while she was in the box. Okay. So she's fine. Well, I see we've got the uh, boys soccer players from both schools. Getting ready to warm up. In the vicinity, they'll be doing their warm ups. Substitution number 40 coming into the ball game. 35 is coming out. So. Brittany Gonzalez now in the lineup for the Lady Saints. Julie Scott comes off, take a rest. Okay, we have a corner kick ricocheted off one of the Admirals. You can kind of sense that the uh, physical involvement in this game of soccer is now beginning to get to the gals. The yeah. movement doesn't seem to be as lively as it yeah. was in the yeah. first yeah, that, half and the early moments right. of the second half. That and three goals will <laughs> yeah. give it to you. There's an opportunity. Oh, got a goal kick. Now the fact that Monica was way out trying to save that ball and did not, and, there, and she was not, can any of the other players then 
touch the ball, no. only the goalie. That's it. The, the other ones can only save it with their body or head. That's correct. Okay. They put a hand to the ball, uh, they, uh, they'll be sitting on the sideline. That's an automatic red card. There's a nice pass and we got... Uh, Danielle Zatala, and we've got one of the Lady Saints uh, gets up and hobbles about Sandra Santos. Jackie Gaynor. And the goalie for the Southview Saints. In fact, uh, the... Uh, Young lady for the Southview Saints uh, is down on the field. I think that is Sunshine uh, Shook, if I'm not mistaken. So with the injury on the field, with 14 minutes and 28 seconds remaining, we do have a timeout, and we'll be back. Southview goalie Heather Slosher kicking the ball out and Sunshine Shook able to walk off the field slowly. She is on the bench being attended by David Dury, the trainer for the Lorraine City Schools. Shot by number 21. Jasmine Phillips wide to the uh, right. right. And Heather Schlosser kicks it out of bounds. So the Lady Admirals will put it back into play and that will be Danielle Zatala. Jackie Gaynor. Back to Danielle. You got a goal kick. And let's see, we got a substitution for Admiral King and for Southview. Number 30 for Southview coming into the game. Number 30 for Southview, Jessica Zook. And number 19 for the Admirals came in. Natalie Smith. Jordan Gonzalez, and she kicks it out of bounds on the far side. Rochelle Rock will put it into play for King. Sasha Simmons on the far side with the ball for the Lady Saints. Gets it up to Sarah Wozniak. Nice outlet pass. Ooh, and Sasha runs right by the ball. Kicked away by Lauren Kishman. Sasha picks it up once again. Gets it to Jessica Todd, who is now in the game other than a goalie. There should be a shot. There you go. Sasha Simmons and grabbed by Monica Gerace, even though it would have been wide left. Now in a desperate situation, is it anything like in hockey where the goalie can come out and actually if the ball starts coming down and become part of the offensive oh, yeah. effort? Sure, there's no problem with that whatsoever. They can become a regular field player. They are you know, a regular player, but once they, once they leave the confines of the penalty area and their goalie area, they're just another player. They, they, you know, they can't use their hands once they cross those lines, but they can come right down and get into the play like anybody else. Uh, then they're going to run like crazy to get back. If there's a re <laughs> <laughs> Julie Scott back in the lineup for Southview, replacing Sarah Wozniak. And it looks like Sunshine Shook is all set to come back into play. 
as she stands on the near sideline talking with her coach. Jackie Wilson has the ball taken away by Gainer. Jackie Gaynor. And Gaynor and Wilson. Gaynor with the shot going out of bounds. Wide to the right. Restart with a goal kick. Heather Schlosser will put it into play for the Lady Saints. Substitution. Here comes 34. Sunshine's back in the ball game. And number 31. Jordan Gonzalez. Jackie Gaynor came out of the lineup for the Lady Admirals. Danielle Zatala. And wide it's wide right. just a bit to the right. We are under 10 minutes, 9 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this contest. As the clock continues to run down, the Lady Admirals have a 3 to nothing advantage. The Boy. kick by Schlosser, grabbed there by Danielle Zatala, gets it up, and Schlosser is able to pick it. Lauren Kishman over to the far side, grabbed by... One of the Lady Saints. Lauren Kishman. Across the field is number 35, Julie Scott for the Lady Saints. Also in on the tussle to get the ball, Jessica Todd. I got a handling of the ball by the Admiral, so the Saints will have a free kick. Later into the game, Southview's having a little trouble trying to get the ball up over the top so they can get a run there, get a get a shot on goal. You know, sitting here watching this this soccer match, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't watch that many aside from what we do here on TV 20, Neil. But I've got to be deeply impressed at the physical. Uh, efforts that are being put forth by these young ladies. This oh, yeah. is a lot of running for a long period of time. Yes, it is. You, you, and if you're not in good physical condition. That's right. You get winded, you're in trouble. The South Q throw in. And we have substitution 24 coming back into the ball game for the Saints. Sarah Wozniak. All right. And she will replace Sasha Simmons. Simmons has been doing a lot of running. She needs a break. <laughs> Some of these names for the Lady Saints are also very familiar when we uh, do the basketball games. Uh, yes, they are. And that's one of the wonderful things about a lot of these athletes. Uh, they just don't specialize in a sport. Uh, they try to get involved in, in as many as they can. Some even more than one within a uh, particular seasonal sport. Yeah, there's several of them that are, that are softball players as well as soccer players, and then you've got a few basketball players in there. So uh, it's tough. It's a it's a long grind. That's why we give mom's reward at the end of the season <laughs> with those TV dinners that you don't have to cook anymore. Yeah. Well, when we get to the boys now, certainly we're going to have. A soccer player, uh, we, we haven't done a Southview game yet, uh, and we won't until the third game of the season here at George Daniel Stadium since Southview is away the first and the second week 
of uh, high school football, but uh, both these teams use soccer players for their kickers. Yes, that's right. They usually will go out and, and, and recruit the kicker. They usually have, uh, you can find a young man uh, with a good strong leg, makes a difference. I think that's one of the first things they found out when soccer started as a high school sport. We coaches realized that, you know, while the, the young men maybe didn't want to play football, they enjoyed playing soccer. They were willing to come out and take their licks at uh, field goals and extra points. And and uh, they, had, uh, they had another weapon to that offense. In fact, this year at Penn State, you got a soccer, female soccer person trying to make the Penn State football team. Mm. Lady Saints trying to get at least a point on the uh, board to avoid the shutout. We're down to four minutes and 35 seconds. Lady Admirals leading three to nothing. So win by Kishman coming up. And the toss in intercepted by Carly Nieto. As the ball rolls towards the goal, picked up by Monica Gerace, she'll bring it out and puts the foot to the ball. Jackie Wilson trying to stop it. Picked up instead by the Lady Admirals, Jasmine Phillips. And the interception there by Sandra Santos. Over the Gainer. Now it's Jackie Gaynor. Gaynor going towards the goal. Shoots and it shoots it, it hits, hits the, the upper, bar. upper bar. Comes back out, it picked hit. up by Heather Schlosser. Hit that crossbar, just a matter of inches. That's four inches wide, so you get it down a little. And it's a good play, good defensive play. Uh, Jackie Wilson kept on her and didn't let her have a fr clear shot. Sasha Simmons now comes back in the lineup for the Lady Saints. Coming out for a breather, Sandra Santos. Looks like the race is going to be on here. If they don't watch it, there you go. Good defense. She didn't get faked out. Nice piece of defense. Stay Brittany goals. Gonzalez, uh, the ball going out of bounds off of her, put into play by Joanna Lopez. And it's off the foot there of Jasmine Phillips. Lady Saints will put it into play. Carly Nieto and uh, Amanda Ross going at it on the far side. Just under two minutes left in the ball game. Now underneath the white socks of the Lady Saints and the yellow socks of the Lady Admirals, are they wearing some kind of a shin guard protection? Yes, they have a shin guard. It's mandatory by uh, OSHA to wear a regular size shin guard. Kick on goal by Sasha Simmons on the far side, grabbed by Monica Gerace. She kicks it on out. We're down to a minute and, minute and 10 seconds. And here comes Danielle Zatala, and she overruns the ball.
We're under a minute now as the seconds wind down and that will bring this match to a close. Amanda Ross. Here comes Sunshine Chuck. Nice pass in the outlet. Pass to Jessica Todd. Kick on goal and right into the arms of Monica Gerace. Sunshine got a shot off there, but not quite high enough. Jessica Todd. Corrections at Carly Nieto. And that's the end of this match between the Lady Saints and the Lady Admirals. Eagle and I will be back to wrap it up. Since 1921, your hometown financial professionals at First Federal Savings of Lorraine have dedicated themselves to meeting the financial needs of their customers and surrounding communities. They offer a wide variety of financial investments as well as home mortgages to meet your every need. Loans on boats, cars, mobile homes, and other worthwhile purchases are also available. Whatever your financial need, First Federal Savings of Lorraine is ready to help. Seven convenient locations to serve you in Lorraine, Huron, Sandusky, Port Clinton, and now at 36690 Detroit Road in Avon. First Federal Savings of Lorraine is an equal housing lender and FDIC insured. Ron, you wonder what happens to referees and coaches when they go out of business? We just use our equipment for other things. <laughs> this well, would be good. You know, you see it in basketball. Why not, why not soccer? Sports fans, it's still Monday, August 26th, not October 31st, in case you were wondering. Well, we have uh, the first one down, Neil, and one more to go here at George Daniel Stadium, the Lady Admirals. Uh, and, and we were wondering if they were going to have enough young ladies to field a team, and by golly, they had enough and two extra to boot, uh, and they wind up very victorious in this match by a final score of three to nothing. And just kind of reviewing how the scoring went in the first half with 13.51 remaining, Jackie Gaynor from Admiral King put the first uh, shot in the goal. And that's the way it ended after the first half. King won, Southview nothing. In the second half, with 33-44 remaining in the ball game, Danielle Zatala. And then with 25-59 remaining, Jackie Gaynor again with the third and the final goal for the Lady Admirals. Your thoughts and comments about the girls' match? I thought it was a very good match. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of, you can see the difference when we talked about the sweeper play and the defensive side for Admirals. They had some real skilled players back there that, that put a stop to them. Uh, but the, uh, uh, as far as the attackers for the Admirals, they got their shots off. They didn't try and take it too far down the field, shot it off inside the box. Consequently, had a couple of very nice long goals. Um, Saints just couldn't get past that last line of defense, but a very good ball game. All right, again, Lady Admirals victorious over the Lady Saints, three to nothing. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV 20, WLCS.